everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com and today is another scripture share Saturday thank y'all so much for joining me if you are new welcome um, every other Saturday I love to just share scriptures from God's Word with hopes to encourage you through whatever situation you may be facing right now and so today I'm really excited to get into it I got my laptop notes here I got my handwritten notes I got my Bible we are ready to go <laughs> um, so before I get into the scriptures um, last week, um, I always start, you know, to get into the word, um, and just kind of like ask God, seek God for, the, you know, what he want me to share. And I just kept hearing the word repent, repent. And I was like, oh, <laughs> kind of like, oh, no, that, that word right there, you know, everybody don't receive that word the same way. I know when I was younger and I kept hearing the word repent, repent in church, it just kind of made me feel guilty and ashamed. I wanted to hide. And, but there's some people when they hear the word repent, you know, they are arms outstretched, surrendering, pouring their heart out, repenting before God. So if you happen to be um, a person who maybe immediately feel guilty or just want to hide yourself from God when you hear the word repent, this message is definitely for you because when you hear the word repent, you should be thinking about the forgiveness that you're going to receive from God when you give your sincere repentance. When you beg God and cry out to God and confess your sins, you're going to be forgiven. You're going to be refreshed. You're going to be renewed. Your burdens will be lifted. You're going to just feel like a new creature. Like you, like I can run on a little bit longer. You know, you get your second win when you just give it all to God. Surrender. You know, that is what you should associate repentance with. Not, oh, I'm in trouble. Let me hide. I'm guilty. I'm ashamed. Don't look at me. God's wagging his finger. That's just a trick of the enemy. Repentance true repentance from the heart you're going to be forgiven and the bible says over in first john grab my bible and turn first john chapter 1 verse 9 if you confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness all you have to do is confess your sins cry out to him ask for forgiveness and the bible says right here that you will be forgiven god is faithful and he will forgive you and he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness and repentance it shouldn't just be done every blue moon or whenever it comes across your mind you think about it no if God woke you up started you on your way in a brand new day that you were not promised to you should be thanking God number one and you should also be asking God for forgiveness and repenting for things that you've done things that you didn't even know you did repenting on behalf of your children family members. You can repent for people who don't even know Christ yet. You can stand in the gap for them and ask God to forgive them for their sins. Like, it's not all about us. We are one body in Christ. That means we're supposed to be looking out for one another. We can't be selfish on this thing, right? So, again, when it comes to um, repentance, think of it as this is my chance to be forgiven. This is my chance to cry out and be free. This is my chance to let go of these heavy burdens. This is my chance to surrender all and let God take care of the situation for me. This is my chance to be renewed, restored, refreshed. This is my opportunity and you can do this daily. Another scripture that I wanted to share with you over in Acts, Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Who doesn't want their sins to be blotted out? I want God to blot mine out and completely forget about them. And you know what? He will. The word said that God is faithful enough to forgive us, but we first must repent. You can't just say to God, oh, my bad, I ain't mean to do that. Um, no, that ain't how it work. You need to repent. You need to ask for forgiveness. You need to really truly cry out to me so I can cleanse you from this unrighteous spirit that is causing you to do this and commit this sin before me. You can't just say, I ain't mean to do that, Lord. My bad. For my bad. <laughs> no. The devil can also trick you not just with the feeling guilty and ashamed to let me hide when somebody say the word repent. He can also make you feel like, oh, I ain't did nothing that bad. I didn't do nothing. What you, what you mean repent? what I do? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. You know, I didn't do this. You know, 
sin is sin. It doesn't matter um, if you feel like your sin isn't as big as somebody else's. Sin is sin. That's what the word says. It does not matter. Sin is sin. And you must repent for it. And back over in 1 John, where we just were, 1 John, go back to 1 John chapter 1, go to verse 10. If you say that you have not sinned, you make him a liar and his word is not in us. We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. However, we all still Still, if you are living, breathing, walking this earth right now, you still have a chance to repent, surrender all, cast all your burdens, give God all your problems. You still have a chance to be forgiven. The word says that God is faithful enough to forgive us if we confess our sins. So I encourage you today to go ahead and give God a sincere repentance. Confess your sins before the Lord today. You may be thinking, oh, I haven't done nothing too bad, but maybe you've created small idols around your house and you don't even realize it. Maybe you worship your phone and you're just always on social media. Maybe you're caught up in the TV series and you're just like glued to the TV. You don't even take five minutes to acknowledge God. You've created small idols in your house. You, you worship this. You're in love with this. This right here this thing is giving you life it's really fast and easy and it can happen like that where you just begin to idolize something and you really didn't even realize you were doing it so it's always good like I said to ask God for repentance do it daily and I pray that you have an amazing weekend I will talk to you all in the next scripture share video blessings everyone bye